Hi, it's Joe from So's Your Thoughts, and today I'm going to be reviewing Nat Faxon and Jim Rash's The Way Way Back. The Way Way Back showed at the LA Film Festival, and these guys, as I know them, are actors, but they first got recognition for uh, writing their award-winning screenplay, um, The Descendants, starring George Clooney. Uh, the Way Way Back is their directorial debut and is basically a coming-of-age story about this kid named Duncan who goes on a summer trip with his mom, played by the beautiful Tony Collette, and her asshole boyfriend, uh, played by Steve Carell and his daughter, uh, while they're in their beach house. Um, and he's essentially, he's just bored, outcasted um, from his parents while they're out partying like teenagers and getting drunk every night. Um, and coming home late, he decides to uh, get a part-time job at a local water park and befriends the man-child uh, named Owen, played by the hilarious Sam Rockwell. Um, and so like any coming-of-age story, you know, Duncan tries to come to terms with himself, his life, um, his lack of confidence, and just, you know, the many arising family problems that he has. The Way Way Back is a perfect summer film. These characters are all so unique and individually hilarious, especially Sam Rockwell's character. The script is really pitch perfect in their comedy. I honestly laughed uh, so hard in certain um, in certain parts, and I just you know had a blast just watching these characters interact with each other. And um, you know, essentially, it tells a story about how even regardless of if you're an adult or a kid, you still have problems, um, arising problems within yourself and everyone it seems as if uh, they're in a state of arrested development and um, you know I thought that was very interesting to see how uh, they, you know, even as an adult you don't really have it all fi figured out um, and the other bittersweet thing about the film was that I felt that Duncan's character didn't fully um, reach the character arc that is needed in most um, coming of age stories. He really didn't fully develop and I don't think he, uh, he came to terms with himself as much as I would have wanted him to. And um, you know, I think there would have been a more powerful connection if that was the case, but sadly that wasn't. But regardless of, you know, that aspect, I, this film will, you know, please most audiences uh, for its outstanding performances and ensemble. The director and the cast came out before the film and spoke a little bit and did a little, you know, intro and um, it was just really interesting to see all of them together and I, you know, I've admired Steve Carell for so long and he was just kind of in the corner um, in the dark, sadly. Uh, the cast of Community also came out, Jillian Jacobs, Ken Jeong, Yvette Nicole Brown. Yvette Nicole Brown and I had a, like a little moment during the buffet line and I was like, oh my god, I love you, but um, I obviously decided not to do that only because it's a huge turnoff, I guess. It is. Um, and so, I mean, I was so sad that Danny Pudi or Donald Glover didn't decide to come out. But, you know, nonetheless, it was great. Um, I had a blast. You know, the movie itself, it's not, it's not the Descendants. It's not like completely... Like, there's just minor things that I didn't like, but overall, I really, you know, I, I didn't think, I didn't have much expect, expectations for it at all, and I really enjoyed it, so definitely um, go see it if you, if you are, if you like the cast, if you are interested in comedy, laughing out loud, and Sam Rockwell is always so great. So, anyways, thanks for listening. Bye.